Okay, so hi guys, this is Allison Marie, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. So, um, whoops. In today's video, um, I know the last couple of videos I didn't have a uh, face cam. Um, that is because of the fact that they were recorded prior to this. So, yeah. Um, but now we have face cam and I hope you like it. I paid for Streamlabs Ultra. I really hope you guys like it. Um, okay. So basically what's going to be going down in this episode? Number one being Mabel is going to be giving birth to the new baby. And number two, Thomas, little wee one here. Oh shoot. Little wee one here. He, he is going to be aging up to a child. Fingies crossed he actually is in hope. Please let the death roll don't kill him. <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes. Um, number one issue. Okay, Grandma's out here cleaning the cow shed. You go, Grandma. Okay. So, let me pull up my thing. So, it says Saturday is Thomas's birthday. And either later today friday or tomorrow mabel will be giving birth so yeah <laughs> we'll see who survives and who doesn't but okay so thomas is stinky how about you give him a bath oh my god there's so many mice place a trap I guess you can't place a trap well I mean technically speaking traps didn't exist then so all right Matilda you are hungry is there anything in the fridge that you can eat that mom's already prepared no okay mama a uh, cook broths and stews um Make some pottage, party size of pottage. As long as you listen to me, thank you. And this one just sharded herself. This one coming down the stairs is stinky. Grandma's outside cleaning the cow shed. We have a bunch of chicks aging up, which is lovely. Which is exactly what we want. We want more um, chicks to be aging up. Just so they can produce eggs. And uh, produce more of them. So. Alright. And then. No. You're not done with the ear. Feed Daisy. Clean Daisy. Refill the feed. Clean the shed. And then clean Betsy. Okay. This animal's dead so let's maybe we can't purchase an animal you know what i'll do it just because then it'll kind of get rid of some money so let's name her i don't know whether it's boy or girl let's think um i don't know blanche I don't know. The first name that came to me was Blanche. I don't know. Yeah. And yes, it is technically Blanche. I took a year of French. It is not Blanche. It is Blanche, which technically just means white. It's a feminine form of white. The masculine is Blanc. So. Oh, Alright, this family is getting on my nerves. Okay. <laughs> so, this child is stinky. So, a mama bear. Mama, why don't you come give a bubble bath to Edith because she stinks. And then this one is streaking. Okay. Thomas, Thomas. Can you firmly express disappointment for taking your clothes off? Don't do that. It is freezing. It is the dead of winter. Please don't do that, my love. And the cat is being iconic. Okay, so... Um, 
They're giving baths. Why are you getting a call? Phones didn't exist then. The queen's calling you. Well, that. The okay, so you're hungry. So. Okay, there's food here. Grab a serving of some food. Uh, is there anything in there? No, that can then be thrown away. Alrighty. Okay. So, honestly, I don't know how many more children I'm going to have them have. <sighs> you see, here's my thing with them having kids. Like, I know that, mid like, people would have, like, a lot of children because the chances of survival were not high. So, let me look something up real quick. So. Okay. How many children did peasants have in 1300s England so the average improve okay so in rural England between the 12th century and the black death the average number of children who survived infancy in poor families was slightly below two this average improved to over two surviving children in land owning peasant families and climbed to as high as five among the wealthiest noble households um Indicated high infant mortality and mortality in general, limited family size. It did not have, was not uncommon for a family to have a dozen children and only one or two survive to procreate themselves. So, like, people would have like 12 children and only like two would actually survive. So, um, I think, I don't know how many children I'm actually going to have them have, considering the fact that 12 is a little bit unrealistic, especially considering in case they all do survive. Um, because we've, we've actually been pretty lucky with death rolls. Um, not that I want to jinx myself, but we, we, we have realistically been really lucky with, uh, death rolls. So let me transfer over the fruits and things like that to Tom, not to Thomas, to John. Uh, so he can make some nectar that we can sell. Okay. Craft nectar. Okay, you don't have that high of skill. So just do grape because <laughs> your wife technically has a higher skill, but she is currently busy. And you, you, you're doing that. And Maple's cleaning. The baby. All right. What are you doing, child? You are just wandering around, which is lovely. All right. We're literally running low on money. But. Hopefully, if we age these properly throughout the rest of winter, um, we should get a lot of money. The thing is, I wanted to have like a lot of wine prepared already, but that had to obviously take a backseat because I'm trying to procreate as much as possible. Um, just because there is the famine death in was it like yeah 13 15 so we only got we have like t nine years until then so i'm trying to get as many sims as possible so okay john has acquired the nectar making skill lovely for you john it's probably gonna be poor quality but I digress. How is this laundry? Unload and put laundry away. And then you got one bottle. Okay. And you're exhausted. Alright, let's get you something to eat. Get some pottage. Um... The cat just passed out on the counter. Mabel's taking a shower, and I'm literally just waiting 
for her to give birth because she should be giving birth any time realistically i don't know as i said i don't really know when she like went into her th third trimester because normally every trimester is 24 hours so like let's say she went switched into her third trimester at 11 p.m she will go into labor around 11 p.m so that's just how that works normally exactly 24 hours so per trimester so you stinky Um, give a bubble bath to Matilda. I'm just worried there's more than one baby in there. Because, like, is it just me or has she been pregnant for a while? And she looks, like, big. So, I don't know. I'm just worried that something's broken or... I don't know. All right. So, you are exhausted. Join the club. Use the bathroom. Alright, so you're exhausted. Alright, so... Um, talk over relationship fears with Maple. Fear of being cheated on. John feels like he is ready to sit down and talk with his partner. It won't be an easy conversation, but being vulnerable and talking about insecurities never is. He knows that it is time to be brave. Select name and click talk over relationship fears under the romantic category. Yeah, you did that because you cheated on your wife. And then you, you would, what happened was you flirted with the queen and then you blamed Mabel for that. As far as I can remember what happened there. You stupid. Anyways, it's a short on my YouTube channel. Go check it out. Anyways, <laughs> um... Mabel, you, this baby's taking forever. Like, I'm honestly considering speeding through a little bit until she gives birth. Just because it is taking forever. Like, I've already been recording for 13 minutes. <laughs> and, like, we're not that close to having a baby. So, um. But I feel like also, let me just pop these in here. Not the whole damn table. Let's, why, why, come on, really, really, throw that away, alright, so you, throwing that away, C can you like resume these or do they have to scrap them, okay, you have to, s no, don't scrap it, don't scrap it, Okay, put this in your inventory. And then view the inventory of this. Put this in here. Okay. You, you, there's no way you could read, so. Okay. So you're tense, I don't care. And then you can purchase some stuff. Well, you don't have any money, so you can't purchase anything. Actually, if we sell this fertilizer, we probably could do that. Let me sell this. Is there anything else I can throw away? Get yeah, these fertilizers. These are spoiled. Okay, so we actually have pretty much everything we can use besides a potato. Let's purchase some potatoes. All right. So with that being said, we can literally basically craft any nectar we want. All right. So. Alright, hurry up with this. You're stinky. But if you don't finish this... Okay, can you... Mabel, can you... Yeah, you can resume that. John, I'm gonna have you go... Replace that, I guess. Use the toilet. Take a shower.
What else is broken? This is broken. Okay, lovely. Replace that, I guess. Okay, so now that John is has decided that he is irritated <laughs> and doesn't want to craft any more nectar right now, let's transfer everything, all the nectar making stuff, over to Mabel. Um, even though she's very heavily pregnant. Okay, so and she's got piss herself. Okay, go go pee. And then that can go in there. It says there's 10 out of 13, so technically we can fit. Oh, yeah, because there can be three more up here. So. Oh, boy. Okay. You're fine. It's just baby Edith. Okay. So, Edith, my love. Open up the fridge. Grab some pottage, bring it upstairs to you, and eat. I swear if you and leave my child alone. Leave my child alone. She's not allowed to have a sippy cup. She is not allowed a sippy cup. It is the 1300s. I swear if you drink out of that sippy cup. What are you, where'd you get that sippy cup from? It is literally 1300s. Damn, these chickens are so damn loud. Oh. <clears throat> We've got a fox trying to kill my damn chickens. Alright, so... I swear to God, I'm going to get rid of this cat. Reset the cat. Put the food in your inventory. Go downstairs. <sighs> They're probably all just waiting on the baby. Like all, all three, like Rosemary, John, and Mabel are all waiting for the baby. You know, one thing I really need to do that I haven't done for this is install the realistic birth mod. I really need to do that. And he just passed out lovely. I need to install the realistic birth mod by Panda Sama. I need to make a note of that. What is this child pissed for? Okay, you're, yeah, you're tired. Go to sleep. Mabel, stop. Stop. Put Edith to bed. Put Edith to bed. And she's sick. Oh my god. How much longer until you give birth, Mabel? Because, like, I, I'm at my wit's end with this family, but right now. Because, <laughs> like, this pregnancy seems like it's lasting an eternity. Right now, Mabel's the only one up. Okay. So now that Mabel is the only one up, she can... First of all, she can clean the machine. Number two, she can make a lot more nectar. So. I don't care, Genevieve. There are no phones in the 1300s. Festival of Lights. Craft nectar. Craft some, craft some grape nectar. What's your skill at? You're almost at level two. So with this next bottle, realistically, you should be at level two. Yeah, you're at level two now. <laughs> I feel like literally all they've done is, all she's done recently is, B has been bitten by the squirrel. Oh god. What has this fox done? What? Do you have an egg? It's not hatchable, so. Uh, no Genevieve. Not right now. Wait, wait, wait. You guys can't really see this because my webcam. But. What? I paused it right then. And she's just. 
Oh my gosh. Like she's <laughs> She's in midair. Like my girl is in midair. Like <laughs> about ready to fall. <laughs> oh my god, it's too good. It's too good. And when is this baby coming? This baby's got to be coming soon. Like, she can't be in the third trimester forever. She's got to give birth at some point. She can't be pregnant forever. Hey, go pee. Ignore the mice. This is the 1300s. You're used to mice. Okay? You're used to mice. Give birth in question mark, question mark, question mark. Like... You need to hurry up and give birth, girl. Because, like, this is not... This, like, this is not it. Like, how much longer are you going to be in a third trimester? I'm going to have them make this and then I'm going to have them all go off to bed after this, but... All right, so now, yeah, you're not going to bed in a bush. So that's Rosemary's bed. So you go to sleep here. Everybody's asleep except for Rosemary. So Rosemary, you're eating, so you're good. Um, and then realistically, this baby's going to come in the middle of the night. So I was hoping that it would come Friday during the day, but it's going to come in the middle of the night. What is this cat's problem? What's wrong? B, what's wrong, babes? B, what is wrong? Are oh, you hungry? There's, there's food here. I'll clean the litter box and call you to eat, okay? If I get that you wouldn't want to eat where your shit is, okay? I get that. She's already eating. You don't need to call her to eat. Alright. So now you can go to sleep, Rosemary. And I will either see you guys in the morning or when Mabel goes into labor. It depends on which one comes first. Hold on. The cow just died. I was just going to make some pottage. Hold on one second. Daisy is dying. Oh my god. Daisy's dying. Where the hell is the cow? The cow... The cow ain't even there. The cow wasn't even there. <sighs> okay, is anybody else dying? I don't like the fact that the Grim Reaper's here. Did you have to kick over my bin? Grim. Thank you. Thank you for picking it up. I really appreciate that. Grandma's outside making snow angels. While mother is inside still. Okay, it's flashing. She's giving birth at any second. I was just about ready to say, well, mom's still inside not giving birth. But she's going to give birth any second. I'm literally going to watch her until she does. I told you it's going to flash when she's going to give birth. Okay, she just went into labor. Okay. Okay, John. I don't blame you. Alright. So. She's going to go pee. <laughs> she's like, this is my fourth. This is technically my fifth. No, this is her fourth time giving birth because the first time she had twins, but this is her technical fifth baby. Um, do I have my crib? I do. Okay, here we go. Alright. So, Mabel needs to go use the bathroom. I don't blame you, hon. Go use the restroom. Grim is in the house and she's given birth. Let's hope that that's not an omen. Okay? Because I have to roll for her death and for the baby 
let's hope that that's not an omen that Grimm will be needed for Mabel because technically speaking, Grimm is not needed if the baby dies because the baby is technically like an object. But... Okay. So let's have Rosemary come up here, John come up here, and Mabel come up here and have the baby. Okay. I still don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. All right. Give me one second. Let me pr get prepared. So, and it's also Thomas's birthday. So, I have a couple different death rolls. So, Diola. I have to get pictures for screenshots. Pictures for screenshots? I meant pictures for thumbnails. I'm losing my damn mind. This baby's been born in the dead of winter. Alright. Eh, what is it? It is a girl. Okay. So, now that it's a girl, I can go to my list of names that I have. So, there's Alice, Avis, Eleanor, and Mary that we haven't used. I mean, I also have, like, these, but, like, we'll get to that later. Um, I think, because this is 1300s England, and, like, they'd be, like, very religious. I'm going to go for Mary. Mary, all right. Let's <laughs> Is it just one? <laughs> All right, it's just one. Okay, now D20. This is from before. So, for birthing for births, she cannot roll a one or else she dies. Okay, Mabel survives. And for the baby, the baby cannot roll... A 5, 10, 15, or 20. <sighs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm so sad that the baby doesn't survive, but Mabel does. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So... What I'm gonna do is, if I shift click, I'm gonna do some paperwork that she was born. So, there was a baby born on this day, and her name is Mary. And then what I did with um, Thomas's twin, I I think it would be helpful if I showed you this. So what I did with Thomas's twin when he died i put his name in a different font and highlighted it white so that's what i'm gonna do with baby mary <sighs> poor mary all right baby mary did not survive all right <sighs> Oh. Mary's very hungry. No, nobody gives a damn. No, 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 nobody cares. Everybody else is too like stuff. So, okay, this is very depressing, and I hate to leave the episode off like this because I was really looking forward to them having another baby, um, but. Um, what I think I will do is just to kind of hopefully get another baby. I will have them try for a baby because I don't have MCC in my game or like my MC Woohoo isn't like stuff like that. So um, I'm going to have them go try for a baby and I will not have her take a pregnancy test until next episode. So we will see what happens. Um... So we've lost two babies so far. Are you are you guys gonna go woohoo? You guys gonna go woohoo and try for a baby? Yep. Okay, go on, guys. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
I'm gonna leave you guys off with this, with them trying for another baby. But sadly, we did lose baby Mary. Rest in peace to her. Um, this kind of thing happens. This is the second baby that we've lost. And honestly, it was like, oh, we're doing really good with deaths. Like, we haven't had any deaths besides um, Henry. Um, but we did lose <laughs> baby Mary. So, um, yeah. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Don't forget to like. By the way, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like today's video. Okay. Bye-bye. I forgot to do something real quick. I forgot to age up Thomas and do his death rolls. So, let's see here. Okay. So, let me. <laughs> I literally forgot about that. I literally did the outro and then everything like that. But then I looked at my schedule and it was supposed to be thomas's birthday so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have you okay you're sick so you can go to sleep and it's talk like a pirate day which is lovely <sighs> so um maple you can i hate that it's bake not, not bake so cook cook food and then once it loads, uh, can I cook a cake? Okay, cook a cake. Verva. Oh God, I'm just glad we had three children at this point. Quite honestly, it was uh, okay. The bowl is okay. Whatever, whatever, Sims. Whatever, Sims. All right, so as I said, it is Thomas's birthday as well. So I hate this. Okay, and then uh, help blow up candles to Thomas. Let's hope that we don't have another death roll. I'm just glad that um, We've only, I mean, re okay, so technically speaking, we had five total children and two of the five died. So, and then for children to, just looking this up, no. Uh, so for children, from toddlers to children, they cannot roll a nine or a 19 or else they die. So, let's hope. Please, Thomas, please. You have everything going for you, Thomas. Please don't die. We've had so much death. Please don't die, my child. Okay, what does he look like? Okay, my dude's got glasses. Okay, so he's a music lover. Okay. Um, this music... Um, I'll make him a mental baby, and then for the death roll, we gotta whip out this thing again. God. I hate this damn death roller. This doesn't count, by the way. So, child. He cannot roll a 9 or a 19, and here's where I'm getting the info from. 9 or 19, child. Okay. He does survive to a child, which is good. So, he does survive. I will have... I will give him a makeover in the next video. But as I said, I realized I forgot to age him up. I was just so focused on the baby that I realized I forgot to age him up. So, yeah, that was my bad, guys. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> As I said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I love you all. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.